Hey, one of my favorite finger picking patterns. Um, I'll play you a little bit of it, and then I'll, I'll teach it to you right afterwards. So it goes like this. Um, kind of easy enough to do once you get a hold of it. Um, okay, these are the. I'm just gonna start with just doing two chords, um, just a regular old C, okay. And then I'm gonna do an A minor seven, which is just taking my ring finger off. So then it's just those two fingers. Cool. C to A minor seven. Cool. And the finger picking thing. Here's what's going on. Um, I put my my pinky down here, just because it gives me some some stability. You don't have to, but. Um, a lot of my students end up doing that. So I'm starting from my thumb on that fifth string. And the thumb walks down up until it gets to that second string, and then my this finger hits that second string. So Okay. Um, so the timing of it is one, two, three, four. One and two and three, four and cool. Uh, one more time. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four and cool. That, that last four and could either be four and with the thumb or four and with the thumb to the second string there. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to an A minor next. So I'm gonna. A minor seven kind of thing. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four and back to C. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four and E minor. One, two, three, four. A G chord, standard G, you know, like so. Uh, if you're coming from the sixth string, so my thumb's hitting uh, this, my pointer finger is still on that second string. So a couple ways I could do it, I can just kind of walk down with my G. Or I could skip that fifth string, go from the sixth to the fourth. So that's a couple options on the G, um, or any kind of sixth, where like an E minor, where you're going from the sixth string. Uh, a couple ideas on ones that chords that are four four strings, like um, just a regular old D chord. Uh, what I can do is I can put my first finger down on that first string. Fine. Okay, and I'm starting from the fourth string with my thumb. Uh, a couple different ideas on that is if I wanted that same kind of feel where I'm hitting that second string, uh, you can find a bass note that's higher up, like on the from the fifth string. Really, I could do a D from the fifth string, or I could do like a D over F sharp, or put my thumb on that second fret, sixth string. for that or same thing with like for the F where if I'm doing an F uh, I can put like the thumb over the top and get that six string yeah so uh, anyway love this pattern is very useful um, has just kind of like great cool cool feel to it it's it's it can be used for so many different songs transitions on it as well, kind of like, or if I was going from like, G, so, a 
couple ideas on finger picking. Um, this is really one of my favorite patterns and very useful. And then once you kind of get the general feel of it, go ahead and make it your own. You know, you change up little things here and there. I, uh, that's a great thing to do. You don't have to do the exact pattern every single time the exact way. You can kind of make stuff your own once you kind of learn the basics of the pattern and then just kind of experiment. Cool? All right. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.